Hello, my intergalactic band of aliens. Today we're going to be speaking about a bloke who actually may not like a form of aliens. Not like us, but no, the ones deemed by the US government as, as, as illegal aliens. And of course, that's Jeremiah Starr. Who? Now notice how I didn't say Jeffrey Star. That's because Jeremiah Star and Jeffrey Star are two separate entities. So Jeffrey Star, please don't sue me. So if you're a news site and you mention anything that the fake profile said as facts, see you in court. So yeah, it's clear to say that. What? What? What's going on? It's um, it's a letter from from Jeff from Jeff Jeffrey Stutt saying a, a front of a lawsuit. Well, Jeffrey's allegedly been involved in a few things lately. Allegedly, like he allegedly took out a loan of three hundred thousand dollars to a million dollars from the U.S. government. Allegedly. And we'll get into that. But yes, away from Jeremiah Star, we move on to Jeffree Star, who, like Emperor Palpatine, has returned in a dramatic fashion. But in this case, he's he's returned slightly weaker. And uh, rather than Luke Skywalker being a part of this story, or as I like to know him as Sister Skywalker, no, it, it's it, it's not that. It's um it's to do with his boyfriend. Yeah, it's uh it's it's a really messed up version of Revenge of the Sith. Execute Order sixty six. Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. Obviously from the title you know that this is going to be intense, different, and this is absolutely not a video I ever thought in a million years I that I would be making. So yeah, allegations, boyfriends, stealing, Instagram stuff, it's all pretty crazy and we're going to go through it today in the world of Jeffree Star. And no, this isn't a Shane Dawson video and I am actually still confused to why we got two series about Jeffree Star. Maybe it's an episode for each episode he's addressing each slur, he's, he said. Moving on. So I want to go through all of this, but I also want to address the fact that his fans seem to believe <laughs> that Jeffrey is this lovely and perfect human being that doesn't love drama. Guys, we need to just all accept Jeffrey Star, and I'll say it a million times, loves drama. Just this like how I loved one too many Big Macs in the past, now. Jeffree Star loves one too many Angelica Rolls and I've never videos. It's just a statement we need to accept, and I feel like your mental well-being, Jeffree Star stands, would be much better if you just accept the, this, accepted this guy as Emperor Palpatine. But yes, Jeffree Star, he's back. When I filmed my video called Never Doing It Again, I meant every word in the video. Oh, you meant it, did you, Jeffree? You, you, you meant it about never doing it again? For some reason, I think... That was a bit of a porky pie. It's a lot of things I do not want to talk about, and I'm suing everyone. So. Oh yeah, yeah, he truly meant it. He, he truly meant every word that he said, as he always does. The most sincere man on the internet, this bloke right here. He definitely meant it. Right, guys? Is a little cuckoo this year. So now that that's over and that person is being prosecuted, now there was an extremely sensitive article released from the insider where it included a bunch of accusations, very serious accusations towards Jeffree Star and the possibility of him paying somebody $10,000 allegedly to stop talking about this accusation. And now I don't know if this is true, this is a journalist piece and it is out there if you want to go and read it, but given the fact that Jeffree Star has said he is suing people, I'm going to go under the belief that Jeffree Star is most likely trying to take legal action against anyone in this situation so the whole thing is very shady and i'm not really going to talk about it until more information comes out if there are any alleged victims out there who have been affected by this i really do hope they get the help that they need and just in general hope that this situation gets resolved this isn't youtube drama this is something really serious and i'm not going to cover this in the future part of this video mainly because i just want to sit back and wait for more information to come out if you're a news site and you mention anything that the fake profile said as facts, 
But then at pretty much the exact same period of time, the insider released another article to do with DMs leaked between Jeffree Star and a fan. After a fan last year was helping Jeffree Star delete a lot of tweets during a situation involving Tardy and James and Jeffrey. Leaked Jeffrey Star messages show he deleted more than 400 crude tweets as he accused rival YouTuber James Charles of bleeped word misconduct. Now it's pretty ironic to me that this guy was so vehemently against James Charles despite knowing him as a friend and had made videos of him in the past, he then helped support James's other friends' allegations against James for being dodgy towards straight men. Despite these tweets being out there and now deleted which could possibly prove him to be hypocritical in this situation with tweets that have already been exposed being there and proving him to be pretty hypocritical in this situation but also given the fact that in 2007 he wrote a song about how he loves to go after straight men, which was quite literally the accusation made against James Charles. I don't know. I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. Now, as I was saying, Jeffrey Star is obviously a, a massive hypocrite and he loves to lie in certain situations and I think we can all come to that conclusion but what really does confuse me is the fact that his fans vehemently defend him and act like he's this lovely little soft boy out a soft Boyer who can do no wrong. So if I was a Jeffree Star Sam, I would simply have stopped supporting him when I grew my first brain cell. I'm in such a good place. So for me to digress and go back to Jeffree from years ago, <sighs> I'm embarrassed of myself. I'm embarrassed for my family that they have to see things online. It's strange to me that Jeffrey says that he doesn't want stuff to be seen online to do with him from his family, but then he basically responds to every single situation involving him. Even the situations which is just a little bit small, Jeffrey Star will come out and say, my lawyer's gonna sue you. I'm suing a bunch of people today, guys. Hey guys, good morning. I'm suing 50 people today and including you. That's you if you don't buy my YouTubes, which is actually coming out on the 3rd of November. I will sue you if you don't buy it. Please buy it. More into that at the end of the video. But the thing is, when it comes to hypocritical statements and the deleted DMs, the DMs were actually posted on this Insider article, and it involves, as I said, Jeffree Star and a former fan. Yes, a former... Fan. I really appreciate this. My old humour just, just, just doesn't translate these days. Old humour. I wonder what that means, Jeffrey. You're the best. You're welcome. Well, that's an incorrect use of the English language. I'll keep searching them. Also, do you know how much VP tickets are for the Manchester show? I need to book a hotel and train tickets for the day. I would be able to give you two free tickets. Well, <laughs> that's amazing, Jeffrey. You're being a lovely bloke in a time where you're trying to get out of a situation which could possibly make you look extremely hypocritical. I mean, at least there's some integrity there. Now, these DMs basically just do show that Jeffrey has some form of a guilty conscience in being hypocritical in this situation. He most likely knows that these tweets would be used against him if they were exposed, and that is why he is deleting over 400 tweets here. But then what's pretty hilarious to me is even Jeffrey, with somebody helping him, trying to save his career, he then causes beef with them and problems with them. Hey, a little shocked at your entitlements when emailing my assistant. The energy feels really, really ugly. And after all that horrible stuff I've been through this year, all the horrible stuff that I've got myself involved in by trying to be the spokesperson in the community, which is really just my fault for getting myself involved, I just don't want that energy in my class. The entitlement. Jeffrey, is it not entitled to support accusations against a former friend, but then have somebody for free go behind the scenes and do background checks and delete things which could possibly avoid you getting in another scandal for free? Is that not entitled? At this point, I do believe it would just be at Jeffrey's best interests to admit that he is the Emperor Palpatine of YouTube and he is behind the doors pulling the strings, but at the same time, I feel like these DMs are actually extremely incriminating and showing his hypocrisy, and I am confused to why people are just brushing them aside. It's just deleted DMs. Oh, it's not that dramatic. Well, what do these DMs contain? 
Why were they so bad that they had to be deleted? And why were there so many? You deleted a few hundred tweets for me and you're acting like I'm supposed to give you thousands of dollars or free makeup. And all I promised was a ticket to come say hi. Now theoretically here people, if those tweets were so bad that they could have possibly got Jeffree Star in another scandal which could have resulted in his career being even more damaged, surely by this guy going behind the scenes and deleting them was actually saving Jeffree Star's career, therefore saving him thousands of dollars, therefore maybe being entitled to thousands of dollars. I'm not done. I know what you're saying. It sounds a little bit snide, but maybe he is entitled thousands of dollars. I have had an insane, crazy past, and all the stuff that I said I will be sorry for until the day I die, okay? Um, and for me, that means I need to let go moving forward. I cannot let old me and old feelings regurgitate and bring me into a dark place. Um, I know who I am and this beauty community right now is suffering and I'm really sad that everything is going on. And I know that may be hard to believe because there are so many um, people that have opinions. They think that I get off on drama. They think that anytime there's a situation I, I insert myself. It's been a really quiet year for me and I didn't want this to happen. It's almost like you've lied in pretty much every single situation you've been involved in in the last few years and now you're worrying because your empire is crumbling. Do you guys remember when Shane did his first series with Jeffree Star and he said that he was really scared to meet Jeffree? Why was he scared? And I really want to get into it and see for myself if this person is really the monster that so many people claim he is. I also just wanna know why he's so rich, because it can't just be YouTube. Like there's something else going on. So I have a lot of questions. I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm excited, I'm intimidated. Like I am going into this experience knowing that I'm going to freak out. Like I know I'm gonna clam up and I'm not gonna know what to do because of that type of personality is somebody who I am scared of. What if he doesn't like me? What if he thinks I'm not funny enough or or not attractive enough, or not rich enough. I don't know. I don't really know him, so I'm really nervous. Shane literally said two minutes into this documentary that people, so many people, have called this guy a monster. I mean, how many stories are there about this guy behind the scenes that we don't know of? There are so many bad stories about this guy out there, and there is no smoke without fire. And at this point, I don't think it's smoke. I feel like the whole building is burning down. But I also think a lot of people are scared of Jeffree Star because if you even in one possible way wrong Jeffree, you seem to end up on some list, some Instagram story that Jeffree Star has posted about you indirectly or directly. When you type in Jeffree Star T and Instagram story into YouTube, it comes up with all of the stories from Jeffree Star on his Instagram where he's addressing drama, a friend, an ex, a person he knows, you do one thing with this guy and you're gonna end up on his Instagram story. And I feel like it's a real testament to somebody's character if they're going on their platform Instagram story every single week and lashing out at their friends. Personally for me, I believe I've only really lashed out at a friend publicly once and yeah, we, we all know about that situation and we don't need to talk about it, but I've only done it once. With Jeffree Star, it seems to be every single week there is a new scandal with Jeffree after he said something on Twitter about a friend, after he subtweeted somebody, after he spoke about somebody on an Instagram story. I don't understand how you can accidentally fall into drama every week without inserting yourself into it. Hard to believe because there are so many um, people that have opinions. They think that I get off on drama. They think that anytime there's a situation, I, I insert myself. It's been a really quiet year for me, and I didn't want this to happen. And I should have known better. <laughs> But remember guys, he's never doing this again. Never doing it again guys, I'm never doing this again. What does I'm never doing this again actually mean? Does it mean I'm never getting involved in drama again? Does it mean I'm never supporting accusations towards James Charles again? That's clearly not true. Or does it mean I'm never taking out a $300,000 loan from the US government again? Yeah, as I mentioned before, a clothing company Jeffree Star apparently co-owns took out a $300,000 to million dollar loan despite releasing merchandise during this year. And it just doesn't sit right with me given the fact that Jeffree Star is on Twitter every single week giving out lots of money to 
random people to basically get his PR up. And I know some business people will come out and say, well, that's his money, and then there's a difference between the company's money. But come Oh man, it's still the taxpayers' money being used here. I mean, I was mad at Liverpool Football Club, a club I love and adore, when they took advantage of the furlough scheme using taxpayers' money to pay for their staff's wages when they could clearly afford it on their own. So I'm clearly not being biased here. I love Liverpool, but personally, I do not like seeing rich companies taking advantage of a scheme designed for small businesses funded by taxpayers. Now, a few business-minded people out there will probably disagree with that, but hear me out. In 2020, these clothing companies were still releasing YouTuber merchandise. It's not the taxpayers' fault that Shane Dawson was cancelled. <laughs> Now to come to some form of conclusion here, the whole purpose of this video was to really show you guys, and specifically angry Jeffree Star stands, that these really strange DMs between Jeffree and a former fan advising him on what tweets to delete are really weird to see when you see that Jeffree Star in the past has spoken about how much he loves to grow and how much he loves to change, when in my mind, if you're so much set on the path of change and growth, you wouldn't really be afraid to show your past because you've grown and you've changed since then, so hiding it all under the carpet, that seems a little bit suspect. So yeah, there's no way anyone can convince me that this guy has changed since 10 years ago. I mean, the only thing he's changed, in my opinion, is that he's much better at hiding certain things. Jeffrey loves drama, and it's hilarious that even in the past, he's tried to pretend that he doesn't like inserting himself into every situation, which he clearly does. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video by saying I am very confused to how these DMs were just brushed aside. This story actually did come out a month ago and some people will say, you're really linked to the snaps. The difference is, I'm really cool, you're really cool, and we're gonna watch this together and look through this together. But yeah, that is the end of the video. I don't know how this guy still gets away with things. It actually fascinates me. But thank you so much for coming along to this video. If you wanna be kind, please drop a like and also please subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe right now. Only percent of you are subscribed so that would be great and before you go anywhere before you go anywhere got an announcement a lovely little announcement i have a youtube which is me and kenji coming out very soon november the 3rd you can cop it you actually can cop it but you can also get a free one if you go to my twitter account and take a look at this follow youtube's and retweet it. This giveaway isn't in regards to YouTube, but if you wanna get involved on Twitter, you can do so. But if you just wanna get it yourself, the links will all be in the description. Thank you so much for coming along to this video. Social medias are in the description and I will see you tomorrow, maybe. Peace out. is how you eat a big man.